welcome to another video. I am Debbie, the Crafty Diamond. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. So glad to have everybody. Today is my weekly whip and chat where I am going to be working on a diamond painting. Whip stands for work in progress. I am going to be working on the Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Manzano, and this is from Diamond Art Club. I have just started on this one, and this is for an event that I am co-hosting with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds, and we are so excited to have started and kicked off our event already on November the 1st. I would love for you guys to join if you have not already done so. Of course, it's not required. It's just a fun event where you're going to choose any canvas that you want. You do not have to have a Christmas canvas, just a canvas that is fun, that's happy. We don't want any, you know, horror or anything like that, but um, we want you to bling it up at least one more color in addition to any of the special drills that comes with the kit. I have picked out about 13 so far, and I'm just kind of sprinkling them in whenever I feel the need. I'm definitely going to be doing all of her hair. All of the white is going to be an AB that I've decided. That's the only thing I've decided on this kit. I don't know about the white over here, but I'm afraid if I do her hair and I don't do this, it's not going to look right. So when I get there, I will decide. But I'm just kind of mixing in, adding some ABs. I did purchase some additional ABs from DP with Sparklers, who is one of our event sponsors. And I will have information on my Wednesday's video on all of our sponsors. What I plan on doing is on Wednesdays, I'm going to have a video that's dedicated for our event. Of course, you can feel free to watch it as well. Um, it's just going to be a short video. That's where all the giveaways are going to be for the event and any information um, such as what I'm going to be using and different things, but that's going to be on Wednesday. So for those of you that do not want to listen to the entire women chat, you can get your information on Wednesday for the giveaway. So there won't be any giveaways on my regular women chats, but just on Wednesdays. So today I am using a gorgeous pen from Monarch Designs. And I love this pen. It's not Christmassy or anything like that, but I really like it, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm using a tray from Add More Zest. I am using my Craftmate lockables here, and they look like this, where you just push the button and you raise them up. Kinda of hard to use my left hand. I do have a link to this on my channel under the description. It's on all my um, descriptions on all of my videos. I am using Randa's Crafty Corner S'mores and also using glue dots. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and I, for my cover reminder, it is holding back my plastic. This has absolutely nothing to do with this canvas or with Christmas, but this is Mrs. Beasley. So if you know, move her out a little bit so it won't be so dark. If you know who Mrs. Beasley is, you know. But I had gotten Mrs. Beasley from my dad one Christmas. And I just absolutely loved Mrs. Beasley. Had her for a very long, long time. And so I thought in dedication of my dad and our first Christmas without him, I thought Mrs. Beasley would be appropriate. So that makes me happy. She is just sitting there keeping me company. And I guess that's it. And I have coffee. It is early morning. So let's go ahead and get started. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. I really like to know how everybody is doing. Make sure everyone is okay and that you are rested. It is so hard sometimes this time of year to be able to find time for yourself. It seems every time that October, as soon as the month of October hits, then it's like it just goes really fast. It goes faster than any other time of the year for us. There's always so much going on and not so much going on as a family, but 
really a lot going on you know, with work and different things that we both have to do. So it doesn't, we don't get to spend as much time together, it seems like, and we just have so much that we have to get done by the end of the year for both of our jobs, and then I have to be prepared for the beginning of the year for mine as, and the end of the year. So it's just, it's crazy. And then you have the holidays mixed in with that, and it just becomes like a blur. I have been having problems with this glue dot. It either doesn't want to let go of my drill or my glue dot is falling out of this pen. And I'm not sure why. It should not be giving me this much of a fit, but it was a little bit earlier when I was working on this. But anyway, what have you guys been working on? I hope that you have been able to get some diamond painting in if you wanted to. We actually went out of town this past week. So I have been very quiet on social media. I have not gotten on very much on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I haven't even looked at very many of my comments on my channel. I am going to get caught up, but we took our annual family vacation. We left early Wednesday morning and we came back late yesterday, which for me is Sunday. So that was so much fun. We went to the mountains and we just had some family time. I diamond painted a little bit, not much, but I wanted to diamond paint where that I could see the mountains. We were on top of a mountain and it was just beautiful. It was nice and cool. It was actually downright cold until Saturday. Saturday was our best day. We actually got kind of warm on Saturday, but we go and we rent a cabin every year. The past, the last year, we rented a cabin in a different area. It was a little bit further down than what we normally will rent, but the cabins that we normally been renting, they are requiring a week stay and they also were very limited on your choices now of cabins. And we found this place that is cabin rental only. There's, you cannot stay, you can't live there, but you can, you know, you can rent a cabin for, I think up to three weeks and that's it. So it is not a long-term rental, but we found this place last year through one of my husband's coworkers and they said they really enjoyed it and the place was really nice and it is it's super nice it's they are even adding more cabins so the cabin that we had gotten last year we decided to go ahead and get this same cabin and it's a two bedroom so that was nice for Paige because she had her room upstairs it also has a really nice hot tub that is screened in, so that was super nice. And my husband and I enjoyed the hot tub every night that we were there. Paige just, Paige didn't get in, but we enjoyed, and she could have, she just didn't. Um, we got in every single night. We were in there for quite a long time, longer than what you're supposed to be, but we, don't, we didn't have it on super hot. It was perfect for us. We stayed in there, we talked, we laughed, we had such a good time. And we would fix bre breakfast or brunch every day. We stopped in the store there and it had a full kitchen in the cabin. So we would cook breakfast and then we had some snacks and things that we took with us. Our car was absolutely loaded down. And then by the time that we went to the grocery store there, it was really loaded down. It was pretty crazy, but it was fun. And we went out to dinner every night. We already decided pretty much where we we're gonna go. We have our special places that we go. And we went to all of those places and then we took our own dinner on Wednesday night because we thought, you know, we're going to be tired from traveling and, you know, tired from the week. And so I made chicken wings at home and we had already frozen those. And so we took those chicken wings. We had two big coolers, took wings. Um, I made some dip, 
So we had some celery and some, some carrots that we um, decided to take with us. And then we also had some homemade salsa and chips. So that was our dinner and that was perfect for all of us. We were extremely happy for um, that dinner. It was nice just to be able to relax, enjoy the view, enjoy the cabin. And then on throughout the week, Thursday through Saturday, we decided to just go shopping some of the places that we really enjoy. And so we have our special places there too. And we went to the Christmas store, which is a huge place. If you are ever in the Smoky Mountains, you should try out the Christmas store. It is so much fun. They purchased it years and years ago, and it was a mall strip. It was, you know, very small, just a few stores in there, but they ended up purchasing the entire mall. And it's, it's not huge, but it's for one store it is. And then you go in there and it just winds around. It is just Christmas things after Christmas things, Christmas music. It is just a beautiful place. So we went there, bought a couple of things, bought some ornaments, found a border collie ornament that looks just like Molly. And so Paige just had to have that one. So we did wait in line to have that engraved. It was a crowded place. It always is, but it wasn't as bad as it was last year. So I'm looking for my ABs now for this color. I normally have two different trays when I am switching between ABs and just regular drills, but I did not get my other one together and decided that's okay. I'll just do it like this for for this video and then next time I'll do it the way I normally do, but that's okay. But we were in there for about two hours. Paige was just in awe. She loves it. She bought her a couple more coffee cups. She absolutely loves coffee cups. Ever since she was able to drink out of a regular cup, it's always been coffee mugs. And so she is obsessed with coffee mugs and we went around there, got her a couple of coffee mugs and then they had Santa. So we went and we had our annual family picture with Santa. I've been doing this since the kids were like four months old and that was really cool. We do it every year. I know it sounds kind of weird, but my kids now is just like, okay, mom, when are we gonna do this? When are we gonna get this over with? When are we gonna go talk to Santa? And so I said, well, Santa's here. Let's go ahead and do this. I know that Maddie's not with us, but she's not going to get here until like December 23rd. And I am not going to stand in line at the mall on December the 23rd or the 24th. And that will be an absolute nightmare. So Madison won't be able to join us, but it's will be the three of us. And so we went ahead, got our Santa photo, talked to the people for a while. They were really sweet. Santa was amazing. He had been there for many, many years. He was retired and he said that he was able to retire because of his Santa gig. He made more and then they had offered him a position at the Christmas store. And so he retired and he's been doing this for years. He makes his own hours and he makes quite a bit of money. So that was a good thing to know. And then he gave Paige this cute stuffed animal. And um, when he realized that, you know, Paige was autistic, he could definitely tell. And he gave her a stuffed animal, signed it from Santa. And so Paige just absolutely loves that stuffed animal now. So now I've got to make sure that whatever we do, we do not lose that stuffed animal. But we, um, after we left there, we did some more shopping, went to my favorite winery there and did wine tasting because they've gotten some new wines out that I hadn't tried of theirs. And that was a lot of fun. I was the only one that went in there because uh, nobody else in my family likes wine but me. So that was fine. And then we played putt-putt. That was a lot of fun. And we also played cornhole. If you don't know what cornhole is, the best way I can describe it 
it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's like mini golf, but you have a board and then the board is colorful or whatever. And then it has a hole in it and it's raised up. So you have bean bags and then you throw these bean bags into the hole or you try to, that's the goal. And then you earn points based on if you can get your bean bag through the hole. <coughs> well, Paige played and I was really surprised that she wanted to that she played cornhole and it was really funny because she beat us. Paige and I played for about an hour and my husband played for about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, I guess. So he was able to get one bean bag through and Paige got five and I got two. So she beat us in cornhole, which we thought was really funny. And we just had a, just a wonderful time. It was such a beautiful day. We wanted to stay outside. So we pretty much did those kind of things the entire time that we were there. And then we did some more shopping, just looking around kind of thing. We had never been to the lake before at this place that we were renting from. And so we drove down to the lake. It wasn't much to it, but it was it was nice. And we were there for a while. There was nobody else out there. Took quite a few pictures. And they had a huge bonfire that they had on Saturday night down at the lake. And we decided not to go. But we had um, decided that we were going um, to build our own bonfire. They had a really nice, huge fire pit that everybody has their own fire pit there. So they had nice chairs around it and we were going to do it and then it was just windy. So we decided, nope, it's too windy. We're not taking this chance. So we ended up not ever making a fire, but we can do that at home. So that was no big deal but it was just gorgeous there. It did snow a little bit on our way in, but it did not, it really didn't stick and it melted almost as fast as, you know, it stuck to the ground. It was, it was falling, it didn't even really stick. So that was, it was, it was pretty to see. I'm glad that we really didn't get any bad weather because just being in our car would not have probably been the best thing to do. So we really did not see any snow or anything. We did not take the ski lift. Sometimes we'll go take the ski lift up, but you can only have, you know, two in a ski lift. And usually if we do that, I will tell my husband, if it's just the three of us, I'll go by myself. You need to be with Paige because he can help her on and off better. Sometimes they will, you know, see us and they will stop it. And it's easy, you know, to get her on and off. Sometimes, you know, she's just, she's slow, takes her a while, and he can just manage her better than I can to get her on and off the lift. And so I decided, you know, if we really want to, you know, I'll be glad to, I enjoy it. But we decided, you know, we've done this before, let's just not do it again this time. So we ended up just having a just lazy time just family time together and Paige and I did diamond paint a little bit, not very much. We played a lot of board games. We just, we just decided we're not going to be online very much. So I am definitely behind on comments, on any questions that you guys have had. I have not really been caught up on Facebook either. And Angie has been so nice about taking over for me. And she knew that I was going to be gone for a few days. And so I told her, I said, I will do what I can for our event, but I don't know how active I'm going to be. And she said, you know, that's fine. I totally got it. I've got this. And whenever you come back, you know, you can catch up. So 
we are you know, working on on getting everything lined up. We still have sponsors that are contacting us, or we've con or we have contacted them. So we have a lot of sponsors lined up. So I need to get with her today to get all of the remaining information. But I am really excited. This is going to be a very fun event. And if you have not subscribed to Angie, please consider doing so. She has some really good content and she is really good about blinging up her canvases. She um, is an artist anyway. She's taken some classes when she went to college for art and she knows a lot more than I do you know, about color, what should go together, changing you know, different colors and things. So definitely um, check out some of her artwork. And then of course, we would love to have you on our, uh, in our event. It is just gonna be you know, fun, laid back, because that's what we all need right now. I did not realize how stressed that I had gotten, and I really didn't realize how I just was in a funk. I didn't think I was in a funk, but apparently I was. And once I got to the cabin and it just restored everything in me, I don't know what it is about the mountains. It is like my happy place. I feel so much better. I feel like I can get more done now. I look back over the past couple of months and I have really gotten behind on a lot of things. Things that I normally do without even thinking about. I hadn't even wanted to like clean my house very much or anything like that. I mean, I've done it, but I have not done a great job of it like I normally do. And so now I am just ready to you know get more done. And I I know I've got a lot to do you know for work, but I want to get a lot of things done at the house. I have not even thought about decorating for Christmas. We usually don't until after Thanksgiving. And we always get a live tree. We've been getting our trees later and later every year. And last year, the last, I would say two or three years, our trees have been really, really sad. So I told my husband, I said, I'm not doing that again. I told him this last year. I said, I am not going to wait until we're really late and have to go purchase a tree. The tree looks great. And you get it home. And then within two days, the tree just shrivels up and it's dead. And then we are just hoping that we can turn the lights on on Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I don't want to do that again. So we're going to get our tree earlier. I don't know when he says earlier what that means exactly, but I also want to go and get a small, just a really small artificial tree to put into our entrance way. And that way I can go ahead, I can put that tree up myself. And I want something that already has the lights on it. I won't have to fool with all of that. But I can put that in our entranceway or in my dining room. I have not decided yet where I want to put it. I would love to put it in my craft room, but there's just no room. But I am going to put a, I have a small little ceramic tree. I do decorate my craft room for Christmas. And I'm going to show you guys that sometime in December, but it won't be till then. But that's something that takes me a long time too. So I want to go start looking for some sales. Maybe too late. I may have already missed all the sales for Christmas trees. And then just get some ornaments that will go just for that tree. And that will just be my small little tree that I can decorate the way that I want to. And then we'll have our family tree. So are you guys... Christmas trees and decorating before Thanksgiving or after. I know that some of my friends have called me and they have already gotten their entire house decorated. They start in November, like November 1st, and they just decorate their house. And so, yeah, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, we don't do that. 
And one of the reasons is my husband has to go up in the attic. So I have to wait until he wants to go up in the attic to get everything. But he just prefers to have Christmas after Thanksgiving. He just doesn't like to have anything up until after Thanksgiving. But I might try talking this year into going ahead and starting a little bit early. But I'm just really curious what everybody else does. And I love Christmas, so I could have my tree up anytime. It would not bother me at all. My mom would put all of our Christmas decorations and everything up either after Thanksgiving dinner, if she wasn't too tired, or death, there's still some plastic on there, or after, or the day after, like Black Friday, she would put up the Christmas tree. And so I kind of did that for a long time. And then when my husband and I got married, I kind of waited a little bit. And then it just got kind of later and later. And again, you know, no reason really. It's just, that's just what we started doing. He likes a live tree. And so that's what we do too. And every year he never complains about the work on the tree, the live tree, it's me. And so yet last year he said, you know, if you just would rather have an artificial tree, then that's what we'll do. I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm not really complaining. I'm just making a fact that it makes a mess. And you have to keep up with it. We have to watch the cat with the tree. And she really doesn't bother it. She likes to get under. And we have to really keep the, the tree skirt covered around and the, the water that's in the tree, the stand, because she will get in there and she will try to drink it. And we didn't realize what she was doing until a couple years ago, she got really sick and it really scared us. And I thought, what has this cat done? And we took her to the vet and they said, she must have gotten into something. I think that, you know, it's okay. We caught it in time. It's not toxic. And we realized it was a tree sap that was making her really sick. That's what she was doing. So after that, I need to get this. I'm going to add an A B. I'm going to find my 603. I have these all the way out on my table. But after that, we decided we're going to have to be really careful with her. So we keep the water below a level that she can't get to, but it's fine for the tree. And we also keep it to where it is really covered up to where she can't get to it. The first couple of days, she is really scared of the tree. But then after that, she comes out, she is fascinated with it. She wants to lay under it and that's it. And she likes playing with any of the ornaments that are at the bottom of a tree. So our tree looks kind of pitiful at the bottom because we can't have ornaments down there because she likes to swat at them. She's gonna break them or she's going to you know, cut herself, hurt herself. And so we just have to have a tree like I remember when the kids were little and they wouldn't leave the ornaments alone at the bottom. So it's kind of, of one of those toddler trees is what I like to call our tree. But I'm looking forward to getting our tree up, getting all of my things out. I have a lot of, of Christmas decorations. Some were inherited by me, um, some inherited to me and some I had purchased, some I got right when I moved out of my parents and got married. So it's really cool. And I have some ornaments where they were my kids. I would buy them an ornament every year. And then those are their ornaments. A lot of them, you know, are babyish, they're hallmarks. And so they, I asked Madison, do you want yours? I gave a lot of hers to her already when she moved out so she could have a tree. And I said, don't get rid of these. If you decide that you don't want them anymore, instead of just getting rid of them, give them back to me and I'll put them up. And so she said she would, so hopefully she will. But I think that those are very sentimental to her as well. So I'm really looking forward to the holidays. For Thanksgiving, we really don't do much. It is just the three of us for Thanksgiving. It usually is either the three of us or the four of us, or if you know my, my 
daughter's fiance, you know, if, if they were in town, he would be here too. But because last year they moved on Thanksgiving, we just had a quick Thanksgiving dinner that gave them some leftovers because they were going to move the day before Thanksgiving, ended up moving on Thanksgiving day. And I went ahead and they weren't planning on coming over and they were still moving and everything, trying to get everything moved into the, or into the truck to get ready to move for their long haul to South Dakota. So we didn't do much last year. And then this year it is just the three of us and we're just going to to do something and um, we usually for thanksgiving we usually don't do turkey anyway we um like turkey okay but we're just not a huge fan of turkey and so we have decided that we were just going to do barbecue one year for thanksgiving which was really weird we had a seafood or a crab boil and we had crab legs and shrimp and fish and that was a lot of fun and we also dealt with our neighbors and then they made some jambalaya and so that was one of the best thanksgiving which was kind of weird when you say yeah that's what we're doing for thanksgiving and we even thought about that but decided we're not going to do that this year we're just going to do barbecue because we all like that and there's no point in having a big dinner just for the three of us and we'll do that at Christmas when Madison and her fiance come into town. So that's kind of the plan of what we're looking at for our holidays. And then we'll go and visit my husband's mom and we'll do that before Christmas. We won't go for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but we'll go around the holidays to visit her. And so that will be nice to be able to see them. They don't live very far away, so that will be really good. And give me another color. Let's see. I do not have these in order, so it takes me a minute. I've got them all over my desk, actually. And I haven't worked on this one. Really, I haven't. I just did some outlining before I left, just some of the 310, which is what I like to do with some of Mandy's. That is this one, do I have? Yes, okay. I'm loving these colors. I don't think I mentioned this is a round, so it should go rather quickly. What else has happened? We went and picked up our fur babies on Sunday. They stay in a, it's, I mean, it's a kennel. It's, you know, an animal kennel, but pet kennel for cats and dogs. But it's not just a kennel where they just stay in a crate and that's it. It is a salon, as they call it, a salon, a spa. So they went to the spa, all three of them, and that is like their vacation. I don't know if they would call it a vacation, but they were actually all three good. Um, usually we have the cat who sometimes we have an issue with her Sometimes we don't, um, but I guess she's gotten better at staying there because she wasn't such a diva this time. They have this um, cat area where, of course, they only let one cat out at a time because, you know, if you know cats, it would not be good. So they let one cat out at a time, which is really cool, and they get to take their own little personal time. They have things to crawl on, to jump on, and that's really cool. Why did I just not see this? Now I've lost what I was looking at. Sometimes I have a one track mind. Okay, I do not see. What number was that? The final hold, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I have done here. I'm missing. All right. Okay this. Okay, there it is. Couldn't decide how I wanted to do this. Okay, I think I'm not going to put any babies on this one. I'm just going to do it like this. This is going to be very sparkly when I'm done, I hope. 
But anyway, back to my story. And what was I saying? Oh, the, the cat. They have, you know, different cat things to play on. They have um, cat perches and they have um, the tunnels and things that cats like. So they let them out for a while of their little cat house. And then their cat house has, you know, their, their personal food in it. It has a lot of space. They have even room to have a little perch on, in their little cat house. And then they also have their own litter box. So when they're in their little cat house, they are locked in. That does have glass, plexiglass they can see through. And she actually enjoyed it this time. I don't, I shouldn't say enjoyed, she tolerated it's better, but she was so happy to see us. We, the last time that we took Salem, our diva of a cat, she was mad. She came home, she went in hiding for two days, or I shouldn't say two days, for a day, off and on. She, we knew where she was, but you know, she was in hiding and she decided that you know, when she was ready to come out and she was ready to acknowledge our presence and to let us see her, she came out. But this time was really funny because she was so happy. My husband went and got her out of the cat, out of her little cat house because if they were to do it, they would have to get these gloves that go all the way up to their shoulder because they were afraid, you know, she was going to claw them. And so he's like, I'll do it. So and then he said he had some gloves he was going to use in case she tried to scratch him because she was mad. And so he forgot his gloves and he said, well, I think it'll be okay. And so the girl just said, come on out, Salem, you're going home. And Salem just kind of got out of her little cat house and started walking. And my husband grabbed her and put her into our crate. And she kind of meowed a little bit, showed that she wasn't happy to be stuck in the crate. She hates the crate. And so he just scooped her up, put her in her crate, locked the crate door, and walked out. That was the easiest we've ever had with her. Before, he had to try to coax her out, and she was not happy, and it was just, it was a mess. But she was good. They said no worries at all. They were really surprised that she was so happy that she, the way she was, she even ate. The last time, she didn't eat hardly anything. She didn't have hardly any food left this time. Neither, neither of them, none of them did. The dogs or the cat did not have hardly any food left, which I was really surprised because normally they have quite a bit left, but they didn't. So I was, I was glad that they ate. And then we did give the dogs a treat while they were there. There's so many things that you can pay for. You can pay for nighttime tuck-in. You can pay for a pajama party. You can pay for story time. I mean, they, if you want it, they have it. If they don't have it, they'll create it for you. Well, we're not going to do all of that because all this adds up. It becomes very expensive anyway just to keep them there, much less all the extras. I did give them an extra um, treat. So they had um, a Kong each on Saturday. So they were happy with that. But then they gave us for free um, extra playtime because of Molly's size. And they went ahead and let Zoe too. They let her have playtime with other dogs. And I just don't see paying extra money for them to have playtime with other dogs. Because what we pay for, they have an indoor, outdoor area. They can come and go as they want. Their outdoor area, yeah, it's small. They don't have much room to run. So with the playtime, they do. So they put Molly, I don't know why they decided instead of putting Molly with big dogs, I think it's because of Zoe couldn't be with big dogs. They put Molly and Zoe with a bunch of puppies. And these were like four, six month old puppies that they were keeping for some reason. And Molly absolutely adored these little puppies. 
Zoe just went over and she got in the sun and she likes to bake in the sun and just sit there. So that's what Zoe did. Molly ran around with all these puppies and Molly is three. She is still, she's very, very active. She's a collie, so collies are known to be active dogs. They um, love other animals. And she just had a blast with these puppies. Puppies were jumping all over her. They were, she would lay down, they would walk on her, they would love her, and they would fall asleep, and she would have her paws outstretched with these puppies all around her, and it was so cute. But when she got home, she went to bed. She was tired. She just could not handle any more. And she was just sacked out last night early. So I told my husband when um, it was about eight o'clock, I said, you know, they hadn't been out for their last, their last potty time. And so my husband's like, yeah, you're right. They have not barked or anything. And he said, I hate to go and disturb them because they are sound asleep. But we had to get them up because if we didn't, they would wake us up in the middle of the night. I didn't want to be woken up in the middle of the night. So decided, okay, we're going to go ahead and let them out. She did her thing. And I mean, she came right back in. She had absolutely no desire to stay out there, which was funny. Normally she wants to stay outside and play. She did not want to do that this time. So today, Monday, it is early because I have to go into campus and get some things done. I've got to go do some grocery shopping because we're out of everything now. And I have to also do some other errands. So I got up early, so I'll go ahead and get this filmed and then go ahead and go to work. And they are already, they've already come in and they're already sound asleep. Normally they are not asleep this early in the morning. They're outside or they're playing, but they are sacked out. And I know that my oldest dog is tired, but she tries to keep up with Molly. I think that's what's keeping her young. It's what's helping her. And I hope that continues for a long time because she's 13. So she is not a young dog, not a young dog at all. But she is just going strong, but she is tired today. I shouldn't have said anything because now they're starting to move around. But we will, we'll have a busy week this week. Paige has got some things going on. I've got something Thursday night on campus, so I'll have to go to campus twice on Thursday, which is a good thing that I live close by. I have my morning classes on campus and then I have to be back on campus at five o'clock. And I probably won't get home until about eight on Thursday. Wednesday night, I have my card group and I have got to work on my Christmas cards. I have gotten everything that I needed cut out and die cut and stamped and everything for my Christmas cards. I make my Christmas cards homemade and now I just have to assemble them, which that sounds like the easy part, but it's really not. It just takes a long time. So I've got to get those done. I want those to be finished by the end of November so I can send out on December the 1st. I want to have them addressed and everything. So that's going to take me a while. I also have to work on birthday cards. I have gotten behind on the birthday cards and I need to get that done. I've got all of them made. I just have to send them out. So if you're still waiting on a birthday card for me, you will get it. Um, I, and I said I was going to do them last week and I didn't. I just ran out of time. But I do apologize. It has just been the second half of this year, or really the the end of the the end of this year, beginning of fourth quarter, has been kind of rough. So I am working on those. If you would like to have a birthday card sent 
from me to you close to your birthday. In this case, it's going to be probably after some of your birthdays. I know it will be, but you can fill out the form. There's a Google form there. Just fill it out and I will send you a birthday card. You do not have to be in the U.S. You can be anywhere. Just make sure you include your full address because whatever's on there, that's what I'm going, how I'm going to send it. So if you will do that, I will send you a card. I am going to get better on them not being late. I do put a small note in each one from me to you. So that gives you, you know, a little something for your birthday that you may not receive. I know a lot of people do not do cards anymore. I love to do cards. I am great about making the cards. It's just mailing them. I have got to, I, I am, I've gotten a lot better at mailing, but I will mail you a card. If you have not gotten one yet, I have you on the list. I will mail it. Even if it's late, I will mail it. So you'll get a belated card, but you'll get a card nonetheless. So, and I do appreciate everyone's patience with that. I do also have a membership that is through YouTube. I have one member and that is Deborah. I appreciate you so much, Deborah. You have done so much. I do, I really appreciate you. If anyone would like to join the membership, there is a join button. And I'm still toying with the idea, do I want to stay with the membership with YouTube or do I want to change that over to a Patreon? And I'm still looking into that. So for November, I'm going to keep it as a membership. If I do change it over to Patreon, everything will change over with it. Um, not You'll have to sign up with Patreon, but... I have some videos I'm going to do, some different things that are on there. So what I include in November for my membership will still also go into Patreon. I just, I'm not sure. There's some things that I was told the membership could do. I'm not seeing that it does or it's really complicated to do on certain things I want to do. So I'm debating, but I haven't really looked into it as much as I should have and I want to make sure that I know what I want to do before I switch over. I don't know what is going on with this glue dot but I'm having to kind of hold it down. It is one of my larger glue dots. I did not go and unpack everything in my micro glue dots, the ones that I prefer. Those are in my bag that I took with me. And I'm having to use the larger glue dots. So I had to kind of cut them to make them, made them fit, shove them into the, the, my single placer. But it's like, it's not, I don't like these micros as well to use for diamond painting. It can be done, I'm doing it, but it's taking a little bit longer. I've almost finished this little section here. What to expect this week for diamond painting? I honestly do not know. I, I'm a planner. I hadn't really planned. I've planned out some things. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I can assure you I'm going to be doing my Saturday whip and chat for my massive cross stitch conversion. I am doing that definitely the entire month of November because I'm participating in a diamond painting along for cross stitch conversions. And I'll put that information as well underneath the description. Kidding Up Kitten is hosting that and it is a lot of fun. I haven't done much. It's kind of embarrassing that I had to show my first week and I only did like six squares because I did those before I left on Wednesday. But I'm hoping to do more this week. I'm planning on at least taking the time every day 
and doing at least three squares. We'll see if that happens, but I would like to because I want to get more done on that project. And if I don't start spending more time on that, I'm not going to ever get it finished. And I love doing it. I really do. But then I think, you know, I've got all of these other diamond paintings that I need to get completed off my whips. But that one needs to be completed too. So I figured that because she's doing... The, that event, I can join the event and then I can work on that one. So I'll probably spend the majority of my time on my cross stitch conversion kit and this one. This one is going to go, I think, I'm anticipating pretty quickly, especially when I get, I'm able to use my multi placer more and I'm able to use my single placer better than this where I have to hold down the blue dot or, or move the make sure that my diamonds are releasing properly but this will probably go faster if it does then I'll work on something else but for the most part in November I'll be working on this one I do want to work on some other Christmas kits. I don't know if I will be able to get them finished or not, um, especially when this one's rather large. I did buy the Randall Spangler, the Snow Castle. It came in while you were gone. I had to open it last night. I just couldn't, I could not wait. So I think that I'm going to have an unboxing on that one just to show you guys. I didn't look at it really closely, but I had to open it. I opened it up. I had my daughter, who is 5'2", lay down next to the canvas. It's huge. It is six and a half feet. I also had her stand on the her stairs and hold it up so you could see it better. But then I noticed that whenever I was going to post that one, that my cat had her toy there. It's a toy mouse. And I thought, this looks like a fur ball. And it wasn't a fur ball. It was a toy mouse. But I didn't want to put that out there on YouTube. But if you want to look at the size and compare it to a 5'2 person, then that's on Instagram. And I'm thinking that on Thursday... I will go ahead and I'll unbox that one and have her stand on the stairs again and show you guys what that looks like. It is going to be gorgeous. It's going to take a very long time. I saw it. I thought, I'm up for this challenge. I want to do this one. And someone else posted theirs on Instagram and said it took them a while to actually kit it up, that it was 111 bags of drills. So that's going to be quite interesting to see how I'm going to do that. Probably will use an um, Elizabeth Ward container, um, but I have to look at it first. But if I, if I kit that up, I know I'm going to want to start on it. And I just, I have so many I want to start on. I said the same thing on Magic Potion. I said it on a couple of other kits that I want to start on. So I need to just slow the roll and wait until maybe January to work on that one. But I do have to unbox it and show you guys. And it was very, very heavy, but it's pretty. I think there's going to be quite a bit of color blocking. That's what it kind of looks like. I think there's only 60 colors, so that's not horribly bad for such a huge canvas. But I like the fact that Length wise, it's six and a half feet, but width wise, it's not so bad. It's uh, 50 something um, centimeters. So I don't think that will be absolutely horrible, but it's gonna be interesting. I've got to look at it and figure out what I'm gonna do, but I think I'll show you guys that because that's the biggest one that I've ever purchased. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then I'll have my Wednesday I'm probably gonna show you um, the different drills, ABs that I have pulled out for this particular kit. And I don't know what else I'll be doing. So that is at least a start.
for the week. And then I'm going to try to push forward, get some of my Christmas Advent started in November because I can't wait and do those every day. I did that last year and I got burned out by like the middle of December. And that's all I was doing was my, my videos for my Advent. My Advent for this year is much smaller. So that is going to definitely help. But trying to decide, you know, what to say, what to talk about, that became a challenge last year. So I'm going to start on that probably the next couple of weeks, and then that will hit every day. So I am gonna have a daily video in December like I did last year. I hope that you were able to get something done if you wanted to, and that if you didn't, that I just helped keep you company and give you um, some, some peace today. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.